Listen, I've journeyed through the Pikmin homeworld plenty of times, but never have I done it randomized. I'm gonna walk out, and we're gonna see something that shouldn't be there. I'm talking all the enemies and creatures are in different locations. Random bosses can just appear in the first place. And let me tell you, it took a toll on me. Do you want to know what I mean by that? This is the first thing I see once I land. Is that the Smoky Prog? For the uninformed, the Smoky Prog is a weird guy. He's a secret enemy located in the distant spring, right? He leaves a trail that will instantly kill your Pikmin on contact. Yep, and that was that was the first thing I saw. And you can't just go past him. And now, we will meet our destiny! No! No! Oh god, oh, you see that? They just went right into his trail. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. And this was what started the Battle of Prague. Yeah, oh my god, massive, massive damage. N not the location, like the, you know, the enemy, the guy. Come on, boys, for your country, for your Don! Please, please, we're so close. If we kill, we get like a billion, more trillion, matrillion, Don, trillion picks. Giant hell, you son of a bitch. And with our massive battalion and morale skyrocketing, we finally could venture forward. And things were pretty typical. You break down two walls, you get a new ship part. That makes two. I grabbed one in the first area, but we skipped that because it's not that interesting. But then things got interesting. The randomizer fun didn't stop right when I reached the yellow Pikmin. Uh, well, here was the issue with that operation. We had our one yellow Pikmin carrying back a pellet so that he could produce more. And then, well, Patrick. <laughs> oh, no! So literally at this point, without yellows, you can't really do anything. All that we can hope at that point is the next day things look up. So, uh... On to Yeah, I'm having I'm having a pickgasm right now. So thankfully, the entire yellow Pikmin race was not entirely wiped out. <laughs> you know, accidental genocide, it doesn't look good on a resume, let me tell you. Yeah, but their nests, or as we know them as onions, they produce another one so that, you know, they don't screw up everything. And at that point, like the true explorer slash general, my job's confusing. I decided to name the two teams. We got Alpha Team and Banana Team. The fuck's a beta team? No, it's banana team. Are you are you stupid? You gonna tell me? So now we got a banana team, right? We can pick up the bomb rocks, throw them at the walls, and progress, get more ship parts, bada bing, bada boom. But I learned something very interesting about the banana team. You'll never guess this. They're fucking stupid. Did it work? Dude, what are you doing? The plan, the plan. So after teaching those guys with a first grade education how to throw a rock at a wall, we finally managed to get one ship part. Only problem is it took like the whole day. So pretty unproductive. We got like a spring, that's three ship parts. And then I spent the rest of the day, uh, you know, casually telling my troops to reproduce, get more armies. It was... All of you have sex as fast as you can. Normal, you know. But uh, hopefully the next day was different. Moving on. Yeah, things weren't that different. I did make an interesting discovery, though, on day four. There's a Wallywog in this location, but the day before, it was one of them flying needle blowhog guys, right? So I had soon learned that, like, it wasn't just randomized and they stay there. Every single day, they were changing. And this will come into play later. Don't you worry. And this day was just about cleaning up the forest, right? I destroyed the wall behind the base, caught a swooping snitch bug for, like, 20 minutes, and then, uh, found the fifth ship part needed to leave this fucking place. We got the big bolt bazinga! We also got a sixth ship part, but then there was some troop related complications that made it a little bit difficult bringing it back yo stop i was trying to make a funny fucking do i not have enough now i fucking hate all of you i'm getting reds this is terrible it's another thing about this little randomizer fun time right not only was it the ship parts and the enemies but also just like random flowers the pellets so they were just plopping fire geysers in places you could you could check your bathroom there's a fire geyser there have fun take it a crap so i figure right like oh it's a fire geyser let's just only do red pikmin Guys, grab the fucking horn! You simpletons, what are you looking at? <sighs> so they finally decide to help out and we can leave the fucking forest of nope, thank God. And at that point, I, I had no idea what was about to come. Oh, I thought that place was bad. Wait until we get the- Bro, this is the hottest club in the whole planet, bro. We'd be getting down in the forest, Mabel. Yeah, yeah. So first things first, another little blessing from the randomizer. There's just no map here. Okay, well, usually it's one of the first sheep parts you find. Not for me. Everything's random. Kill me. I've been around this planet a couple of times. I know where most ship parts are, but I just thought it'd be worth noting because it's a little cherry top on the shit Sunday, you know? Like, so on this day, we managed to get the blue Pikmin onion and I dubbed them the Crypt Team. Yeah, what's up, bro? So we got new boys. It's time to get to work, baby. Upped our numbers. Laugh at this snitch bug that was trapped behind a wall. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. And then the plan was to retrieve a ship part that was submerged in the big pond located in the forest navel. You could probably guess what happens from here at this point, right? Like, there's no walk in the park. I'll tell you that. Is that the mo- 
motherfucking smoky prog egg? Bro, they just have one of these at every store. Are there two eggs? And then there's a cat. What the fuck is happening? And there's two cannon beetles. What is- Uh-uh. Nope. Sorry, I'm out. I'm dipping. Like, we couldn't even get past the fire geyser, let alone all those guys. Yeah, so at this point, like, things were looking really grim, you know? But, uh, someone had to rise up. And who better to rise up than the Don? That's me, by the way. Hi. So we got back on our feet. I started grinding up the crypt numbers, because, uh, you need a lot of those to get into that pond. There's a big entry fee. It's your life. And we're grinding up the crypt numbers. Everything's going fine. Until Team Alpha and Team Banana decides, hey... Let's go for some swimming lessons. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 no. So we end the day with two shit parts that were just in easy spots, just whatever. And uh, this was a low point. This was a low point. At this moment in time in my head, the forest naval knocked me down several pegs, but I had a plan to bounce back. The naval beat my ass, so I decided to go back to the landing site, which for those that don't know, it's just a chill area. There's like one extra ship part there, but a lot of pellets. You can grind up your numbers very easily. And seeing the residents of the community pool there, I definitely needed more numbers. So we got to work. I was getting the ship parts. I was getting these pellets. It was going great. At that point, I definitely was like, we're ready. And that's what we did on. But before we do that, we got to talk about what happened on. I'm going back to the forest of nope. I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, so actually I wasn't ready at all. I was still scared. Did you see all those guys? I'm bad at this game. I'm bad at most things. Think I can take out all those monsters? You're crazy. You're drunk. Go home. I needed some sort of assurance. I needed a reason to be confident. So I came up with a scheme. There are four parts left in the forest of Nope, and I was figuring we can get all of them in one day. And this operation within the 10 minute time span required precision timing and expertly crafted it required a lot of skill. Uh, let's grab these boys real quick. You guys have a lot of work to do. Now, the first part's in a very easy spot. Walk out of the main base, go left. You go up there, kill a big bull orb, get your prize, walk down. It's really simple. It should take no time at all. In fact, it was even easier in this randomizer because there was no enemy. We're doing good things here. The second shift part's across the little pond here. This area, they love their ponds, man. They love it. Throw some blues over there, build a bridge, bada bing, bada boom. A little bit of complications with a beetle. Guys, remember the plan. Don't, don't let the, the funny glowing beetle distract you. What is happening? But, uh. Uh, the troops finally came around and boom ship part number two down then there's a snaggered ship part right push this box move over there. there's a couple birds kill the birds boom right and it was simple um and all right this random cannon beetle and and this is like the easiest boss in the game that we're fine we we did it with with no problem oh god No, no, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I was just, I was just thinking about something. Something, something I gotta do later, you know, <laughs> you know? Okay, so there was some complications with the, the third ship part. Uh, typically, like I said, they're snaggards. Uh, there were puff stools this time. Routinely is a very easy enemy to take out. You swarm them, knock them over, and then hit his body, throw them on there. <laughs> You know, just, just do that. And it would have been fine, but the fucker lives on a slither of health, turns my own army against me, and I almost, I almost die. I could have been killed. No, no, no! Get off, get off! Help me! Alright. But, but I, I managed to live. That's a positive. Living's cool. And we, at that point, a lot of our time was taken up. So we only got three out of the four ship parts and moved on out. No, the puff still really took that long. Nothing, nothing else really happened that day. Alright, we can finish up. We can finish up this area tomorrow and then grind pick the numbers. Try to get our numbers back because we lost a lot of good soldiers today. <laughs> a lot of good soldiers. I definitely, you know, if the whole operation went through, confidence would have been going up and we could just be done with the forest of nope. But, uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah. We have one more thing to do before reaching the forest navel, and that's getting the last part in the forest of Nope. This is, there's so many forests. Damn! In true day eight fashion, this thing started off pretty normal, you know? Just a walk in a park. Look who it is. The armored cannon beetle. You've killed many of my friends. And today, you will see them in hell! Go for it, go for it. He's weak! Now, we do what all gamers do. Hit it from the back! He's dead. Killing it won't bring them back. And yeah, things were pretty chill. 
And we made our way to the last ship part in the forest of Nope. Typically, there's just like a big arena with a cannon beetle in the center. And so while I'm trying to get to said arena, some of the crypt team just starts leaving me. Uh-uh, y'all got a mission. There's no turning back now. Like, why don't they trust me at that point? They don't trust me anymore because I killed so many of their brothers. Cla classic, classic troop insubordinates, honestly. So I wrangled the troops back and we managed to get to the arena. And this shit's just fucking crazy. Let's see what the area... That's good. Oh, that's awesome. Look at all that. That's, yup. Pickies. We, we were not ready to fight the BD long legs. We had crit team and alpha team. And usually that's a banana problem because you can throw them higher, right? So like I said, it was time to step up as a captain. I made the strategic decision. We ignore him and make a beeline. Retreating is not cowardly when it's required. Oh my God. Dip, dip. You got shit. No, that's fine. That's fine. How about the cause? Run, run, run. I don't want to fight daddy long legs. A smart leader knows when it is time to fight and when it is time to fucking dip. Ulysses S. Grant wishes, dog. What was crazy too is this decision caused a political rift amongst the army. Strike the honor, take him down. Strike the honor, take him down. Should we take, that's right. We have to get vengeance for the fallen. A good leader listens to his troops and I decide to take the path of revenge. Definitely didn't know how to feel about that. Is revenge good? I don't know what to feel. All I know is that arrogance is bad. I don't know about revenge. <laughs> Killing him won't bring them back. <laughs> A lot of good soldiers. No. No! It's what must be done. I've squashed spiders bigger than you, you son of a bitch. Come on, boys! No flex. Zone. All right, he's in the red. He's in the red. Beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent. Get him done. Get it done. Let's go! Ah! Dinner for tonight, spaghetti and meatball. That was for the fallen. We won the battle, but the war still wages. Adrian, he killed the Pikmin. That's when things really started turning around. Not many deaths at all, if not any. Grinded up Crypt team back, and finally the confidence, the numbers, everything was there to return to the- We're about to go into war, boys. Strap in, I see a puff stool. I see a boltman, or a bull bear, excuse me. But more importantly, I see a bad time. We will fight with strength and honor. This guy, see, this is what a blood and glory guy looks like. No honor. And he about to pay the price. Yes, yes, one down. All hands on deck. Kill him. Now. Now get back here before you kill me. Hang strong! We're doing great, men. All right, the cannon beetles are not here. That's great. Honestly, we take those. All right. We got the interstellar radio, baby. Now we can listen to all the great tunes. The battle was won. We brought the radio back to the ship. Boom, one ship part down. And oh wait, what's that? We found a bread bug, killed him, found another ship part. Things were looking up. Things were looking up. And you know, once I say things are looking up, some fuck shit's gonna happen, right? Wake the fuck up, bro. Can't... Is he stuck? A fate worse than death. He's forever unbirthed. Bro, imagine being trapped in the womb. But I mean, weird existential shit aside, the rest of the day was pretty good. I left Crypt Team to build a bridge in the pond to get in their ship part. And get this, when we were carrying the part back, they almost got out of line. Guys, there's a lot. There's steps right there. Thank you. Yeah, see, they knew. Good job, boys. They're thinking. They're learning. But finally, they started to cooperate. How about that? How about that? They started listening to me. The job. Try to tell me I was a terrible captain, bro. I flunked out of the academy so many times. Probably cut that out. Of, cut that out of the video. Just go to the next. Just just go to the next day. Just go to. So that when Cryptine got the ship part that was on the bridge in the pond, they also gave us access to bomb rocks. And there are like a billion cinder block walls in the forest naval. They love that shit. Nothing gets this area off more than cinder block walls. You ever jerk off in a construction site? We have access to bomb rocks, so here comes Operation Orange. Now what the plan was is to kill the two bosses in the area in like vanilla, not randomized Pikmin. There's the puff stool that's in this... Uh, excuse me. Dark, glowy mushroom area. It's kind of a vibe. I like it there. One of my favorite smoke spots on the planet for show. And then this area where the beady long legs is at is behind a wall. So we get to the puff stool. There's supposed to be a guy here. Oh, hello. It's a burrowing snagrit. Let's go. He shrieks of terror and death. Give me a uh, life. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Or should I say banana squeezy? So anyway, the long legs spawn. That ended up being a puff stool, interestingly enough. Well, well, well. 
Well, is that another puff stool? Well, and this one wasn't as easy peasy banana squeezy. There were some complications. May have been partially my fault. I take banana team, grab some bomb rocks, blew up a wall, and then it was the wrong wall. Wait, was that a waste of time? Fucking, this was the wrong door. Oh my God. Got some bomb rocks about the cinder block wall, and we only had a little bit of time left. So it took a lot of, you know, expert timing, but if we did it fast enough, we could totally... And then we move on to the next day. Give it up for day day uh, 11, right? Or was it day 10? No, that was that was day Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. All right, back in the forest naval cavity. So Operation Orange has transitioned to Operation we call ABCs. Scoop up 33 of each Pikmin type except 34 yellows. I, I don't know why. And we go to take down that puff stool. Remember how I said every day the enemy's randomized? That's not You're not Whoa, that's just the wrong guy. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was something. So I grab my bomb rocks, tow down the door, and this is where the green fucker gets his revenge. You fool! Are some of them trying to bang on the wall? There's a lot dying right now. Oh, that's so much death. So many died. There was nothing we could do. We can't lure him out. He was already he was already set. He was already set. I would not call this one of my proudest moments. The amount that were lost. If I had just gotten to the puff stool on time, none of this would have happened. I mean, yeah, we got the golden orb, we got like a hundred new banana guys, but like... Damn! We finally moved on with Operation ABCs. I wanted to finish the fucking navel. There's an infamous strip in this location that requires all three Pikmin types, and you get two treasures from it. One that's in like a little pond. We got that very easily. Shout out Crypt Team. And then one that requires the Crips to build a bridge. You throw bananas up there, and they can bring that thing down. Bring it to the Alpha Team, and they can carry it through the Fire Geyser. Yeah, I mean, it's also, you know, randomized, so Fire Geysers weren't there. Looking like Operation BCs. And because of our good old chum, the Smoky Pro, I couldn't get the mission done. I ran out of time when building the bridge over to the one ship part. So, Operation BCs with a silent A would have to carry on to <laughs> Operation APCs Take 2. Uh, APC 2. The Greek alphabet. And let me ask you something. Do you think it went well? Do you think everything went according to plan with Operation ABCs 2? Whoopee. The rest of the days is us grinding pickies. No! Guys, guys, guys. Come on. Follow me! No! You know, second thought, maybe they should have gotten swimming lessons at this point, like... That's not even the worst part! A little fun fact for you. So typically, up there is like the Sagittarius, the Libra, I don't know, some jewel, some gem piece that's 15 Pikmin to carry. Very simple. Because it's a randomizer, little randomized ship parts, guess how much is required? 40. 40 fucking pickies. That's like three more than 37 and six less than 46. Have a very high IQ. So I gotta go back, get more bananas, throw them guys up there, hopefully they all stay, and of course bring it down to its own fucking Broadway production. <laughs> Y'all saw that? I, I thought at that point we were making some sort of progress. Like, uh, was beady long legs for nothing. But we did manage to bring it back. I ended the day grinding up our numbers because we had some extra time. That was the only ship part left. With 19 ship parts completed, 18 days left, we're finally done with the forest fucking navel. So we go to the distant spring on the next day. That day, you know, being the day after day 12, which is... I feel so at peace. One with nature, yes. Yeah, day 13 was a load of horse shit. Oh god, oh god! What the fuck? They just killed all my dudes! Look at all the fr- I mean, we did get one. We did get one piece. Like the anime. The flotation device brought that back, so it wasn't a complete bust. I don't- I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want but yeah, that was- that was day 13. Fun. I think we've done this in every single location so far, but I decided to try to boost morale back up. Let's try to get three parts in one day. First day on Distant Spring was a bust. Let's try to turn our luck around, you know? And so here was the game plan. Yours truly, the brilliant strategist, came up with these three parts to get, all in the similar location. First off, there's this part up here that's right next to the entrance. Pretty simple. Just throw some guys out there, guide them along the side of the barrier so they can grab it, bring them back down. Took us a few tries, but again, progress. Boom, one down immediately interrupted before part two can get into the swing of things. And guess who interrupts us? It's our old friend! It's our old fucking friend! 
in. Come on, Mr. Wise Guy. Bring it. Let me at him. Let me at him. Look, seriously, let me at him. Like, why do you dog pile this motherfucker? Oh, he just brushes it off. Oh, my. Oh, great. And he brought his friend with him along, too, huh? This is the best double date I've ever been on, bro. Please fucking kiss me before railing me up the butt like that, GC. And this next part of the operation goes hand in hand. There's one part across the bridge. You gotta take Crypt Team over, build the bridge from one side, and then whatever other color Pikmin you got on the other. The bridge is meat. You can grab that. Easy peasy. And then, of course... The third one requires bomb rocks. What's happening? Are there any more bomb rocks? Are you fucking serious? I have somewhat of a history of running out of those. Ran out of bomb rocks. Run across the freaking water. Grab them with the bananas. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Finally managed to break down this wall as the day is over and I see a big old bull bear in the water. All right, there's this guy sleeping. Let's fucking blow him up. Boink! Let's go, banana team. We have different ways of going about this now. All right, this is a scary situation. This is, a, this is a frightening situation. All right, we gotta retreat. We gotta retreat. Or just keep on going, that's fine. Ignoring orders, pretty cool too. Oh God, oh no, oh no. All right, all right, that's good, that's good, that's good. We didn't lose that many, you know, 40. 40% 40 of our army, not bad. All right, let's end the day here. We didn't get all three things, but my defense, I didn't have a defense. How many soldiers need to die for me to get a chair? Or a, a beepy boopy monitor for a, a spaceship. So there was a little bit, there's a little break until we go on to. Everyone go watch Hef. If you like, if you like good Pikmin Dom tank, go watch the boy Hef. He does Pikmin 2 ROM hacks and shit. Boy, here on day 15. We have 13, 15, 14. We have a lot of days left. Still no map. So I'm well rested. We're back in the distant spring. First thing I do is tear down the black cinder block wall right behind home base. And you know what else is crazy? I finally was able to use a fucking bomb rock appropriately. Give it up for day 15! Throw it. Look at that damage. Wow. What's up? What's up, man? I'm like that. I'm sure you're aware of how these stories are going, right? Good happened, bad happened. But you know what? I'm breaking the cycle. I go towards the river on the opposite side of the map. I take Crypt Team with me, get like 90 of those guys. I don't even know. And uh, I thought one bull bear was bad. Oh, look at that. Two bull bears. And this might be one of our most difficult challenge yet. Like I said, I'm not letting this, I'm not letting this happen again. And I look back and it's like, this, this could have been really dumb. But I went for it. Operation Anal's a go. All right, hopefully there's enough pickies. Don't throw them off, please. Stun lock, stun lock. I think no one died. I think, did we win? Charge! Round two. And we came, we came out on top. Not too many tragedies. I was feeling good. I mean, the corpses left a bit of an issue. This is the hardest part of the randomizer is dealing with all these, these dead bodies that just shouldn't be here, you know? You ever trying to walk to the grocery store? There's a bunch of dead people just blocking your path. I hate it, but we were okay. I took banana team, broke one wall, took crypt team, break another wall, boom, get a ship part. It was looking like a good day. So the two walls are broken. I take my troops, flank to the outer banks of the distant spring and break another wall. Cause you know what? We're in the mood. You ever just want to punch a hole in the fucking wall, but in a positive way? And with a hundred vegetable people. But this was tactfully done to set ourselves up for the next day. This last wall we were breaking, it leads to an arena that usually has an armored cannon beetle. It's a randomizer. I don't know if you knew that, but we were running out of time. It wasn't looking like the vision was there. And the day ending, you know what that means. Moving on to... Day 16 starts out, we go to the back area and I want to get one of the ship parts that are on top of this tall maze. You take banana Pikmin and you have to guide them. Especially with the bananas... We've been through a lot, but it was finally time for me to take charge and have them listen. Now, how do you think that goes? Oh, come on. Come on, pickies. Yo, time out. Time out. I'm lit. This is the best I've ever done on God, on jaw, on my receding hairline. Do it for your banana lord. Oh, let's go. This is money. All right, that's got... <gasps> I did it. We got it, baby. <laughs> got you you thought it was gonna go terribly nope at this point it felt like we were finally back into control baby back into control we bring that ship part back lickety split and then we go check on the cannon beetle spawn golly what is that over there is that the emperor that's the final boss and at this point i suppose the morality the mission statement of my troops was a bit scrambled do we go after him i think the smart gamer Waits for the next cycle. But my inner hype beast is telling me to go for it. We have to get vengeance for the fallen. Is revenge good? All I know is that arrogance is bad. Killing it won't bring them back. But my defense... It was just... It was just too much... Too much death. Like... You know what? I'm just gonna ignore him. I'm gonna ignore him. 
We gotta pick our battles, bro. Smart choice. I'm, I'm happy you guys respect my decisions. I just don't want my boys to die. No, go for it. Banana heaven or hell. The devil and my angel on my shoulders are arguing once more. Nah, fuck that noise, dude. I'm not doing it. You kidding me? I've conquered my arrogance. Y'all missed the Kirby Nuzlocke, apparently. We're doing this the right way. I had to retreat. I'm not doing that shit. I can't take a crap without hearing in my head. <laughs> you know? What do you mean you don't know? And all that didn't even matter in the end, because we ended up finding one of the biggest obstacles in our entire journey. How am I supposed to do this? This is a renowned part of the Pikmin experience for a lot of people that have visited PNF 404. It's one of the ship parts where if the area is not randomized, it's like one of the true puzzles in the overworld. You take your crypt Pikmin, throw them up onto this platform, throw them into the yellow candy pop bud. The yellow candy pop bud turns them into yellow Pikmin, and then you can throw them onto the shore so that they can retrieve the ship part. Regular crypt Pikmin can't because it's too tall, and you know, the, the banana ones got hops, as all good bananas do. So basically, this flower is the most important part of the process. So it was one of those like, we'll get to it when we get to it type of things just move it past us and we're moving along i am not killing the positive momentum we have but the randomizer tried and we found another ship part in the water usually it probably requires like i don't know 20 30 blues i'm not i don't i don't know 50 pikmin that is the greatest of arrogance didn't have enough had to go back get more crips go back throw the crypt this is my life now and then the next part you cannot make up what is going on over here no Stop. Come on! Push! Put your back into it! Get stuck? On the shore? At, at this point, at this point, what's going through your head? How, how? You can't, you throw more Pikmin? Is that gonna help? What is it? This could have been just fucked. Two pieces that seemed impossible due to the limitations in which we were trapped in. So I said, fuck it, let's just move on to... Day 17 was all about rectifying our mistakes. I am not letting the game beat me. Operation Crypt Lift was a go. All right, my biggest enemy yet. Let's go, bros. We do not skip leg day. So I saw the Crypt team, they continue to struggle, and I had a crazy idea. What if I just... <gasps> I just needed to help them. Oh, yo, that's insane. I had to push them and it worked. That's crazy. Look at that little teamwork moment. Did we do good? You guys did good. You each get 1 50th of a cookie. But of course, you know, this beautiful moment of carrying the thing back, that'd be ruined. Bye. You guessed it. Oh my god. And look who had to show up back to the club. I feel like swooping snitch bug. He, he smokes cigarettes indoors. He's smelly. He doesn't brush his teeth. He wears a wife beater. Constantly scratching his butt. He's a terrible guy. And by the way, swooping snitch bug, your alimony's due. Whatever. We took him out. We're moving towards the Emperor Bullblack's pay. Yeah. Emperor. <laughs> That's hard to say. The Emperor Bullblack's. What the f Emperor Bullblack's. Is that even his name at this point? I don't. Emperor Bull. You ever like. You ever just like, like gaslight yourself? It is Emperor Bull. Okay. So we get to the spawn, and it wasn't a Bull Blacks, thank God. Because I have a hard enough time pronouncing that name as it is. Just another burrowing Snaggerit. And uh, we fought him. Bitch couldn't have guessed that. So we take out the Snaggerit easy peasy. Map. Map. Cog. I'm in Cog heaven. And at this point, it's like good news. Three parts left. Bad news. I don't know where they are. 27 parts. How did I not find the map yet? Like, let's just. I, I can't even fucking. <laughs> We come to the famous day 18. I, if, if it's cool with you, I, I don't feel like talking about this one that much. It was uh, not a look. I could have sworn there was one treasure out here in the deep blue sea that I just did not collect yet. Leave me alone. Just just walk away. Just walk away. Where are you? And I'm so picky. Is it the swooping stitch shit? Where'd that asshole go? He owes me money. I know it's out here. I'm not going insane. You're going insane. You have it, mister? Where is she? Where are you hiding her? Get back down here. I have questions. I have questions. We can just talk, bro. I just want to talk. No violence. I promise. Yeah, make him talk. Make him talk. Look at him squirm around. Look at him flop. You have nothing. The cog was in the snitch bug. Of course. See, I knew it. That snitch bug was probably from way out. I knew it. I knew. <laughs> oh. That was the first half of the day. I, I can speak behalf of the second half. We were wandering around the distant spring, and the, you'll, you'll never believe what we found. <gasps> Whimsical radar with this. I'll be able to see all nearby. It's the last one. It's literally the third to last piece. We've made it. The map. Right when it was useless. I don't even care. I don't even care. Champagne on me. It's back on the ship. We going crazy tonight, baby. This shit about to be lit in three seconds. Fun times, man. Fun, fun times. At that point, 28 parts. 
29 parts, 28 parts. All 28 parts, yeah. All that was left was the one part that was on top of the banana crypt puzzle that I was talking about a couple days ago. And the final one that would be in the final trial. So all that was left to do was figure out how to get up there. I had to cheat the system. In the spirit of cooperation, working with my troops, I let them also take the lead. We shoot some ideas back and forth. Someone proposed trying to throw yellows into the water and then using our whistle to guide them to the shore. Other stuff like that. But then one strategy caught my attention. We could try to get the swooping snitch bug. Waiting for a snitch bug to spawn, see if he can pick up some of my guys and see if he throws them over there. we we'll go through the entire map. Not a single snitch bug. The one time I want one to appear. Does he? What do you... What do, you, what do you think, Mr. Venusaur? You're kind of a picky. He doesn't talk. He's a stuffed animal. I think we're just, I think we're just fucked. I think we're just fucked. I might just, I might just end the day. There's no point. There's no point. And then I swear to God, I swear to you, this fucking randomizer has a mind of its own. You would not believe what appears on Olimar's nightly logs at the end of day 19 when we are looking for the candy pop bud. When I throw Pikmin into this flower, they are pop right back out. You're just taunting me! This game's got the gall. This is no longer me versus Snitchbugs. This is no longer me versus Mudahar. This is me versus the randomizer, and I will come out on top! Day 20! A20, get this. Yes, yes, yes! I've never been so happy to see one of these friggin' idiots. Forget about the alimony, baby. I want you back. So let's give the bitch bug a chance. He says, like a goddamn fool. How does this work? No, not over there. Stop! No! Don't you walk out on me! Get back here. I think this is a flop, dude. This, this is not gonna work. Never trust the stitch bug. They will steal your money, your job, your wife, that oatmeal raisin cookie you have in the pantry that you've been dying to eat. He'll take that and chomp it right in front of your face. He's a jerk. So Operation Bitch Bug, complete failure. We move on. We started brainstorming really hard. Beam attack! That's not even... Ban this guy. All right, maybe not too hard, but like... Don, if you kill that bull bear, you could land yellow Pikmin on top of that platform and then use the blue Pikmin to launch yellow Pikmin. You can't throw yellow Pikmin on top of that platform. If you walk and throw, you can throw longer distances. You can't... I don't think you can. Olimar don't got arms like that. You can't, you can't throw him like he used to. He's an old man. It's a young man's game. But then... Then we tried it. Wait, it does work! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Under the leadership of one of my Pikmin, I physically carried out this task. And I just think that's kind of insane. However, there was a little friend up there that was making things a little bit difficult. A fiery blow hug. You know, an enemy typically taken out by red Pikmin. And I thought maybe Crypt Team could take him out. That's a lot of dead guys. I didn't mean for that to happen. We decided to reset the day. The Big 22. Magical Day 22. We're moving, baby. We're going to... If this is a yellow candy pop bud, I'm gonna scream because we just figured this out. Are you fucking kidding? So we tried to come up with a plan again. Maybe bring out Alpha Team. One. That doesn't work. That does not work. That does. Uh. But it's all good. We still have like seven days left. We can just wait for him to change. So I finished the day off doing a classic Don strat. You know, replenishing the Crips numbers because uh, that's a lot of dead guys. Incidents occurred again. Me probably making sense out of things that don't, but something interesting happened. Let's go, baby. Why can't I pluck anybody? <gasps> no. They're trapped in pick with Picatory. That's fine. All right. Mom, mom. Wow. How about that, gamers? All that grinding for nothing. Out the window. They're gone. Bye, Crips. Toodaloo. So now we move on to... <laughs> Top 10 least favorite places. Number one, distant spring. Number two, distant fucking spring. Number three, Mississippi. Number four, distant spring. Number five, near Bowser City. I'm going to cry. Now the question is, does it re-randomize even though it's day 22? Is that a fire blow hog up there? Oh, that's perfect. And we finally do it. All right, come on. Come on, Omar Brady. Yoink. <gasps> one down. We can do this. I take the banana team. I pick him up, throw him on top of the square platform, throw him to the other side. But then we come to a realization. Now, the problem is these brave few, the tragic reality is they're going to die. There's no way of bringing them back. I'm sorry, banana team. 
their final mission. And this was a sad thought, but it was a sacrifice worth making. This is what they signed up for, you know? But then, for the second time in a row, he comes in and he just gives us some godly wisdom. They actually don't have to die. How? Wait, they don't. You're right. I just realized we can save them. We can save them. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. We can save them all. We can save them all. We get the best ending. So the way this plan worked is, if you don't know, in Pikmin, as long as your troops are with Olimar, they will not die once nighttime hits. And with that, the 29th part is in our hands. We can go to the final boss. We can get the good ending. Lose Pikmin will die, but if they're with Olimar, no matter where you are, they are okay. You just go right back to the ship once that clock hits zero. But there's one more thing we need to do. No man left behind. So that was that was the plan. We just stay with them and end the day. No one has to die. There we go. Let's do it. it. Looks like our work here is done. There was one thing in our way, and that was the aptly named final trial that we tackled on the final trial is an interesting place not a big locale by any means just a few set of puzzles that test all of your pikmin knowledge right and i landed and here i thought things wouldn't be that different because there's not that many enemies actually i think there's only one the emperor mobilex and then i forgot there were pellets right next to spawn what are these two doing here? Oh, that's great. So this is gonna be a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. All right. What's crazy too is I don't know why they were all like big enemies. The burrowing snagrin. What? Are you? Okay. Everyone's invited to the party. A guy that's not given us much problem in the past, but it's still a bitch. Yo. Beautiful. The fucking bull bear. Like he forgot what happened in that river. And then finally. <laughs> finally. We have a lot in the reserve, so we should be fine. Oh, no. What was that? Okay, he's awake. Oh, oh, God. We suffered big losses. I didn't blame myself. I didn't blame my troops. What are you going to do? That was just a hard situation. Get some snaggering. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh, my God. We're losing them all. We're losing everybody. None of those enemies are supposed to interact in such a way. So you're fighting the snaggering and the cannon beetle shoots a boulder. This is, this is not good. It was over with. Whatever. It's done. It's done. The final trial operates as so. Each Pikmin type has to do their own role. Crips, you take them across the water and they start building a bridge. A bridge that is blocked off by a cinder block wall. You take your banana Pikmin, move them over to the side, throw them up on a platform and they get bomb rocks. A mineral that I have a great relationship with. Fill the bridge, take the bananas over, blow up the wall. And then finally, you navigate some alpha Pikmin through this fiery path so they can push over a box and the real final trial awaits. Crip team got their job done extremely easily. There's no random Randomizer shenanigans to be had there. Banana team also didn't have any randomizer shenanigans, but that didn't stop things from going wrong. Now, as long as they don't feel compelled to throw it or anything, we're fine. No! Fuck this game! I am uh... the dreaded whistle. I don't know if it's a glitch, but I don't know what it is. Sometimes when a banana Pikmin is holding a bomb rock and you whistle them over, they will just drop it. And you know, and in classic Don fashion, we ran out of bomb rocks. All right, we got one bomb off. Really cool. Finally, there's Alpha Team's trial. This one was a little bit interesting. Instead of the fire geysers, they were just random enemies, and we had quite the time of navigating them over there. All right, that's Sheergrub's doing the job for us. Hello, Bull Bear. No! Get back on land! What are you freaks doing? Come on. No! What the? Did you just see that? That was the most devious. Oh my god, this randomizer's hell. What are you guys doing? Oh no! And because of all these shenanigans, we ran out of time, and this would transition over to. Day 24 was weird, right? We lock down, we get into another battle, easy peasy. Finish the job that we started yesterday and uh, broke down the wall to fight the final guy. So we break down the wall and then, uh, yeah. Boss music, snagger it. <gasps> it's the Gulix. I've actually never fought this guy. That is the only enemy that requires cribs. And if you have them, you're good. You're done. Is this it? Is this how we end it? Is this how it ends? You just walk? <laughs> huh. Well, that's that's a randomizer for you, I guess. And that, and that was it. Like, nothing was used in the very end. It really felt like this was building up to something. And in the end, it was just nothing. Yeah, I guess we just do this. Look at us go. You know? Wow. You can't control everything, you know? Shit is just random. It's a randomizer!